Sky Rush is definitely an intense ride. With all the airtime and the car crash of a first drop, Sky Rush is probably one of the most intense rides I've been on. Not the most intense, but one of the most intense. So in this video, I will be reviewing Sky Rush, or as it's known, Thigh Crush. So without hesitation, let's get into this video. Sky Rush opened in 2012. But at that time, it was running faster because the cable lifter didn't slow down the train at the top. Skyrush has a height of 200 feet, a speed of 75 miles per hour, and a length of 3,600 feet. From what I've heard, Skyrush is actually taller than Candemonium because apparently some of my friends said that the drop is taller than Candemonium's height, but I don't know. Unless I hear it from the park or RCDB, I'm not believing them. The only problem you'll find me complaining about in this video is about those trains. Because oh my god, those trains hold like hell. I do believe in the thigh crush saying because those trains really do crush your thighs. But with all that pre-review out of the way, let's get into the act review starting with ride experience. Skyrush starts off by going up the fastest lift tower in the world. Yes, you heard me right. Skyrush has the fastest lift tower in the world. Not canon launch lift tours, which aren't even lift tours. Then after that, fast, hella fast lift, you plummet down the drop, reaching your top speed of 75 miles per hour. Which, as you go down the drop, there's like a kink in the drop, so you get a small amount of ejector at the top, but in the middle of the drop, you get absolutely yeeted out of your seat. It's almost like death ejector. I honestly don't know how else to explain it, so all I can say is no matter where you live, even if you live in space, take a plane or spaceship down to Pennsylvania to ride Skyrush, you won't regret it, I promise. But then, literally right after the drop, you go into a sharp 90 degree turn to the right into your first of three airtime hoods, which all the airtime on this ride is ejector. And this hill is no different. After that hill, you take another 180 degree turn into an airtime hill, which is kind of interlocked because it goes over the previous airtime hill. But also, I forgot to mention, the second turn after the first airtime hill is where a lot of people tend to gray out, so be ready. But this airtime hill also gives amazing airtime. The next few elements are kind of repetitive, but no one who rides the ride will care because the adrenaline levels will be through the roof. But after that airtime hill comes another turn, which this turn doesn't really do anything, but it's still intense as hell because you're going through it so fast. After that comes two overbank curves, whereas the first overbank curve is more bank than the next. If you're on a wing seat during both overbank curves, your body will be flying to the side because it's so whippy. After be after both the overbank curves comes yet another turn into a switchback which is the best banked element on the ride because it's pretty intense as you'll be flying to one side then you'll be absolutely violated and yanked to the other side. After that comes one more airtime hill which this time is a more compact airtime hill so you get a better airtime feeling if you know what I mean. Do I even know what I mean? But for real, then after that last airtime hill, you go into a bank curve to the left into the brakes. So overall, Scouch is a phenomenal ride and is a don't miss when you go to Hoshi Park. The only problem is the restraints, I would say. Because well, you'll know why when you ride it. So for Scouch's final score, I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. Scouch is pretty much a perfect roller coaster other than the <laughs> restraints. So that's my review of Skyrush. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, don't mind hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Because this channel really does offer high quality roller coaster content. All you'll find is crystal clear 4K roller coaster content at 60 frames per second. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the horizon. Peace.